Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to create one more video talking to you guys about the brand new firmware just released by Apple, iOS 13.1.1, and how it impacts jailbreaking. Now this video is going to be a quick one because if you happen to miss it, earlier we covered a brand new exploit that just dropped for A11 and older that essentially jailbreaks them for life. It's a boot ROM exploit, which is incredibly low level, and it means that regardless of whichever firmware, the devices are jailbroken for life. It's a hardware exploit that Apple can't patch now. All the devices are already out, they're all vulnerable, and it goes beyond jailbreaking. They can also restore or downgrade to literally any firmware. It doesn't have to be signed. Again, this impacts the iPhone 10 and older, but it's also great for the rest of jailbreaking. For devices like A12 and A13, such as this iPhone 11 Pro Max that I have right here. And for an explanation as to why, definitely check out our coverage. I will have it linked in your cards now. It's also going to be the very first link below in the description. And the second link is going to be our iOS 13 jailbreak status checker page, which will be updated the very second a new tool is released for iOS 13. And it also includes new devices as well. So the second a jailbreak drops, this red no is going to change to a green yes. All download links will be posted there. Again, that's the second link down below in the description. Be sure to bookmark it. It's dynamically updating, meaning that the very second a jailbreak drops, it will be updated. So. Let's talk about 13.1.1, just pushed out by Apple, and essentially it's for one real main reason, and that's to address a security concern with the keyboard and third-party apps accessing the keyboard and full device information without granting access. So let's go ahead and hop inside of settings, general software update, and you'll see here that hopefully it should pull back iOS 13.1.1. Yep, there it is. So iOS 13.1.1 says that it includes bug fixes and improvements for your iPhone. So let's go ahead and tap on learn more. And it says that it fixes issues that could prevent iPhones from restoring from backup. It addresses an issue that could cause battery to drain more quickly. So battery life improvements here. That's awesome. I, for one, have been experiencing slightly worse battery life on the 11 Pro Max since updating to 13.1 over 13.0, which is really interesting and contrary to what a number of reports have said. But me personally, worse battery life on 13.1. Hopefully this fixes that. It also fixes an issue that could impact recognition of Siri requests on 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. It resolves a problem where Safari search suggestions may re-enable after turning them off addresses an issue that could cause reminders to sync slowly. And finally, the big one, the reason Apple pushed this out so quickly after 13.1's release, quote, fixes a security issue for third-party keyboard apps. So that's why iOS 13.1.1 exists right now. And guess what? It's going to be jailbroken on the iPhone 10 and older very soon. The exploit to do so is already out. So expect a utility after things have been polished. It might take a little bit, honestly, because this is just the first time developers have had a chance to use this exploit. And not only does the tool itself need to be developed, but extensive testing must be done. So the current public firmware at the time of the release of such a tool might be later or higher than 13.1.1, but it will retroactively include support for 13.1.1. And as for all newer devices, hopefully we're going to see a brand new kernel exploit that will include support as well. Right now, we don't really have anything or at least any public knowledge of any new kernel vulnerabilities or exploits in the works. There might be a private kernel vulnerability that A13 chips and lower are susceptible to. We talked about that in our first iOS 13 update. However, that's not public and there would still be a ways to go before we get a jailbreak from that or anything related to that. But you better believe that Google's Project Zero team, who's responsible for discovering and divulging the majority of kernel vulnerabilities that Apple has patched in recent iOS updates, is going to be on the scene working diligently. And hopefully one of those kernel vulnerabilities will be patched and made public with a new version of iOS short in the future. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to. I'm going to keep you guys fully covered every single step of the way, whether it pertains to this A11 and lower permanent jailbreak, thanks to that brand new Checkmate boot ROM exploit or newer devices like the A12 and A13. 
I'm gonna have you guys covered no matter what. Uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention that I just thought of before we wrap up here, if you guys currently are running iOS 13, I do not recommend updating. As always, the best possible firmware to stay on is the lowest possible firmware to stay on. So if you have a device older than the iPhone 11, 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max, I suggest being on iOS 12.4.1 because of course that firmware could still potentially see a jailbreak before iOS 13. Now for a detailed explanation as to why I highly recommend watching our very first update that we pushed out for iOS 13 and jailbreaking where I go into the entire situation in depth, definitely check out that video. I will have it linked down below in the description. Of course though, it is always up to you and this new information about permanent jailbreaks kind of changes things. Keep in mind though that it is going to be a tethered jailbreak, so you will require the assistance of a computer, but I mean, come on, it's a permanent jailbreak that will be functional for every single firm. So with that said, hope you guys love this coverage and until next time, this is ACU signing out.